Jim Jordan confronts Attorney General Merrick on a privacy law case involving former FBI officials Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, who were central to the controversial Donald Trump investigation. A text message to Peter Strzok. Trump's not ever going to become president, right? With the question mark. Peter Strzok's response, no, no, he's not. We'll stop it. And these two individuals are going to get a windfall of money from the American taxpayers because you decided that's the right thing to do. The Privacy Act doesn't distinguish between people we like and people we don't like, information we like and information we don't like. If somebody in the government discloses wow. personal information protected by the Privacy Act, that's the way the law is. Papers, they can you can go after a president money. and you get rewarded for doing so, according to the Justice Department. It's not um, a question of reward. It's a question of the government paying for violating the law. They're going to get a lot of money. And I know that this is what they said. We know what they were up to. The rule of law dictates that individuals must be held accountable for their actions. Jim Jordan's assertion that Peter Stursock and Lisa Page are being rewarded for their controversial actions against Donald Trump raises serious concerns about accountability in our legal system. The focus on this caretaker law diverts attention from Sturzok and Page's actions toward Joe Biden, which the public sees as a more pressing issue. This situation challenges the principles of fairness and justice. Jim Jordan's exclamation of disbelief, wow, underscores his view that Sturzok and Page's actions are fundamentally unfair and unjust. Their receipt of taxpayer money, despite their contentious actions, not only represents a misuse of public funds, but also suggests that the judicial system is failing to deliver just outcomes.